Hello everyone and welcome back to our little corner of Jurassic Park Island where we are here with all of our amazing dinosaurs including several new ones but I thought I would show off and admire our freshly evolved stegosaurus first thing look at it oh it's just prancing around so cute and you guys had so many amazing name suggestions and in the end the one that just popped out and I was like that's it was Nissa so welcome Nissa oh you're so pretty but yeah, Nissa's doing great. Uh, it's already up. She's already up to a level 23. Look at her go. And she is feisty too. She's got quite a bit of like attack, ferocity, and hit points. So I'm very, very happy with her. Let's see if we have enough food. Nope. But she eats like a horse. She eats just as bad as Pebbles used to, if not worse. So we're slowly feeding her. In fact, I think that she eats more than Pebbles did. So she's not going to get very high up on that level very fast but at least she's gathering a lot of coins she brings in a lot of coins 14,000 every three hours here's annie how you doing annie sorry i don't have any food for you our little pack and stuff of sources and nope pebbles is still bringing in more coins you are so and every two hours you are you are like people must love it they've got their little safari lodges right here to get donations from uh, and to watch Pebbles as she nibbles her toes as always. Pebbles, why are you always nibbling your toes? We've also got Bam Bam, who seems to be doing very well. There we go. Yeah, Cory, the whole group, the whole group is doing well. And now we've got the new babies, and that's what we're actually here to see as up close and personal. The new itty bitty little babies. I don't even remember who's who, so this is going to be pretty fun cracking these eggs open. All right, and I imagine everybody over here would be like, oh, it's time, it's time, and pulling out their little cameras and getting all excited because it's time to hatch these little eggs, you guys. So without further ado, <gasps> the Torosaur bull reptile was inspired uh, by, the name was inspired by the skull and two very long, robust, robust brow horns. There we go. Ah, we leveled up, yes, more buckaroos for us. Ooh, and the circus is now unlocked. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, what's going on here? Dr. Grant should stop working his team so hard. An unhappy employee can cause a lot of trouble in the park. Okay, 20 rope... <laughs> Dismantling your infrastructure has nothing to do with keeping your employees happy. That's the opposite of keeping your employees happy. All right, so we need to place three small marshes. And we need to, I don't know why, like, is that just going to make more mosquitoes show up? You have a really weird sense of, like, employee management. If it was me, I would make sure that there was, like, maybe a private lodge for them. Uh, give them, like, the, one of the hot air balloons or something. But no, no, you want to get rid of decorations and you want to remove roads. You are a weird man, you know that? Ah, well. But here's our new little one. Look at this guy. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. Oh, I'm going to have fun with you, buddy. I'm gonna have so much fun with you. Here, I like the first food, because that's all we've got is just like a tiny bit of food. All right. Oh, what to name you? We're gonna have to see how you fight. We're gonna see what colors you turn into. For now, just be a baby. Be a baby and prance about here and be happy. Oh, so cool. All right, what about you? The Iguanodon. Most Iguanodon grew to be an astounding 30 feet long, which is almost the length of a school bus. That is amazing. Look at you. Hi, little guy. Oh, you're so cute. You just look like a little smush face. Somehow it reminds me a little bit of a ferret. No idea why. Inquisitive motions, probably. There you go. There's your very first food. I don't think I have enough left. Oh, look at the little mouth. That was so cute. All right. Oh, look at the newbies. Oh, I can just hear the pictures being snapped over here. Like, click, 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 click. Happy people over there. That's a small creek. Okay. And last but not least, on the herbivore side... <gasps> Brave reptile is the meaning of Oranosaurus. Look at you. Hi, buddy. Are you one of my missions? Oh, you are one of my little missions. I'm supposed to level you up and collect from you. I have no food for you. Hang on. Let's swing down real quick. And yes, we're still zoomed in because as soon as we zoom out, I'll never be able to look at anything ever again. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we have enough food <laughs> to level them up. Oh, hey, Tracy. Thank you for the coins. How you doing, Nissa? All right. Oh, I can't wait to sprinkle some more decorations around the whole. I can't not wait to spread all of these volcanic little chain. The volcano um, chain that we're gonna have is gonna look really great. 
There we go. They had collected from you. I can't I can't feed you yet. I'm sorry. There's not enough food, but you are so cute. But all right, and let's go and check on our very last eggs we have to hatch. We actually leveled up our Allosaurus. So let's check up how he's doing. Look at how cool it looks when the eggs are ready to hatch. I mean, that just it's so cool. Well, look at how spotty he is now. There you go, buddy. Here you go. You get a little bit of a first feed, too. But yeah, he's getting pretty high up there in ferocity for his tier of animal. He's not hes not gold tier, so let's see. Actually, let's pop back over here. Hey, Mossback. How you doing? And you guys had some amazing, like, moss-related names for, um, for, oh, look at it. It's so cute. Look at that little sail. And there's a room to put something over here. But yeah, you guys had some amazing like moss leaf, um, moss back, moss bark sort of names for the Stegosaurus. But since we have moss back right here, I didn't want to get it too confusing, even though I love moss. But all right, and then the very last egg to hatch, and then we'll get out of being super zoomed in, is <gasps> this one down here. Are you guys ready for this? And wink. The Troodon wo wounding tooth comes from its sharp, curved, and serrated teeth. Oh, look at you little guys! Alright, first feed for you too. You guys I can at least give uh, that much food to. So there we go! That, without further ado, is all of the little baby dinos that were ready to hatch. And, oh, they're just... Look at everybody! We've got like a whole new section of the park over here now. And how many dinos are there left to find? Because I think we've got almost everybody. We're just missing the T-Rex. And then one, two, three four from the wilds which we'll start looking for but today is actually pretty special because there's some special sales going on that i saw and i like was so excited i freaked out but then i was like no 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 no, no. i have to wait i have to wait so that they're with me so i waited because guys there's some very special sales happening right now uh the brontosaurus is on sale so if you guys do not have a brontosaurus and you want to get one i believe it is 50 percent off right now so if you haven't snagged one go see if you have enough bucks for it if you're playing on like blue stacks or on your android or iphone you can see if you can pop over to the resources and watch some videos to get some free bucks i do that every day and it really 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 helps including the gifts you guys send too and then over in our decorations the other thing that's on sale Dun-dun, 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 <laughs> almost there, ta-da, the meteor crater, 60% off, I am so excited, so it's only $40 right now to be able to get this huge meteor crater, it covers like a range of four, bonus percentage is 30, I think that is like the biggest percentage bonus you can get so i really am excited about that and i want to get it but i want something else that's on sale even more and it's in the aquatic zone let's go see let's go see the aquatic zone right now has its limited edition oh yeah another buck thank you guys has the colossal squid i love colossal squid i love the the mythology and i love the stories of kraken i love studying squid i love studying um the giant squid that does exist now and i just i love squid i think they're so cool and intelligent and i saw this and i was just like i have to have it we have nowhere near the number of 300 something bucks that you need just to straight up buy the dna so I sent out a three-man, a three-man little uh, expedition, and I'm hoping that we can get lucky enough to get the the squid this way. So we're gonna spend some bucks trying to send out expeditions to get the squid first, please. Okay, two bucks is good. Okay, that's good. Ah, that was all good, but not what I wanted. All right, let's send this out again. And just once or twice, we're going to rush the team. I've never rushed the team before. Please, 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 please. Okay, well, we got three bucks back. <laughs> so that's nice. But I really, okay, we'll rush it just a couple more times. If it looks like we won't have enough money for uh, the, the crater, then we'll stop. So probably just like once or twice more, but please. Ah, no, okay. One more time. One more time of rushing it because I really want the squid and then didn't know more. And we'll just send out expeditions normally. Yep, well we got a lot of food at least, a lot of shrimp. Gotta be optimistic. And now I'm gonna send them out 
so that they have um, a three-man expedition again. And we'll just have to cross our fingers and hope that they can bring back Colossal Squid DNA because I want Colossal Squid DNA. That would be so cool. We actually have a whole bunch of DNA that we need to decode and research over here, but we're still working on uh, some of our other areas in the Jurassic Zone. And once we get to get the Jurassic Zone to a point where I'm pretty content with it, then we'll start researching those other areas. I promise. All right, let's pop over to the Glacier Zone. Nothing to collect in terms of that. We could fight for a free dinosaur arch or something like that. And this is what I wanted to see, our expedition. All right, 10,000 coins, not bad. We're just gonna send out the free one. And let's see. <sighs> yeah, this is a hard choice, but I'm, I'm gonna stick my ground. I'm gonna stick to my, my ground and not like spend all of our bucks on trying to get that colossal squid, even though I really want it. We still have a couple days of trying to get it, so we'll use whatever bucks we get in the coming days on getting that. And over here, I actually want to put in that meteor crater because I don't think we'll ever be able to have that, that price on it again, so I think it's worth it. There we go, almost there. Where's the meteor crater? Do we still have enough money for it? I don't know, yes we do. All right, we're gonna buy it. We're gonna do it because I don't think we'll ever be able to get it this cheap again. So, let's see. Where should I put you, my little friend, so that you affect as many of my little dinos as possible? Should I put you so you affect pebbles? That would be pretty good for pebbles' sake. Hmm, this would affect a huge group. I think that would be really cool, actually. All right, so let's move everybody around a little bit. We're gonna remove the road. I wonder how many pieces of road. I think I had to remove like, what, 30 pieces of road to make him happy? So let's go ahead and just, why not, remove the 30 while we're here. Weird employee confusing quest. I feel so bad for the little employees. They must be like, just so lost. Like, why are you trying to confuse us like this boss? We needed those paths. All right, there's that. Maybe scoot our Paradactylus over here. And these guys, I think, are all significantly high level. Um, I kind of want to move Pebbles. I think I might swap her and the Camarasaurus, because uh, would it be better for her? What is she currently at right now? She's at 18%. Um, yeah, she would still be affected. So, let's see, let's pick you up. And you, my little friend, not so little friend, temporarily come over here. Moving dinosaurs, like I said, how on earth would you really do this? You would just like have to, to constantly have giant palm fronds or something. I don't know how you would, how you would move these guys. Whoops, Daisy. I have no idea how you would pull that off. All right, let's pop over here. There you go. Paradactyls, don't worry. You can go over here for a second. Our little Camarasaurus. Come down here. There you go. See, you've got some new friends. You get to hang out over here. It's going to be fine. All right, and I think these guys are in the way because these purple flowers are in the way. Is there room for them over here? Oh, there is room for them over here. Sweet. Hey, hey, hey. Flowers. Stop being weird. What? There was two room for you. You said, oh no, it was just saying that who it would boost. I see. Well, is there room down here? Guess what? You guys get some flowers. There you go, buddies. Gonna move these purple flowers. So Pebbles was making 19,000 and let's see what happens. All right, let's put these guys down. Hopefully that'll be good. And then mark it and then meteor crater and then boom huge meteor crater there we go it reaches how many can i have it reach at once possibly just those guys all right so we'll put it right there and dun dun meteor crater oh i'm so happy can we scoot you over one more i think we can there we go look at that and then we should just surround the meteor crater with even more items, like fossils or tar pits and things. And what is Pebbles? Pebbles is bringing in 23,000 coins every two hours now. And these guys are hugely leveled up on what coins they'll bring in too. Look at that! 
And this must be like the ultra lounge, like the fanciest of all of the, the safari lounges, the place to be if you really are somebody. All right, so there's that. And there we go, good. I wonder what else we can do. Level up the Oranosaurus. I would love to. I would love to, but I don't have enough, enough food. And I can't believe we spent all of our bucks like that, but I'm happy because we have a meteor crater. We never would have gotten a meteor crater like on our own before, so this is pretty cool. Very happy with it. We'll have to give it some quarter. Oh, there's a meteor inside of it. I just noticed that that's not just like a little dip. That's an actual meteor. So we need to give that meteor crater like a really cool name. So if you guys have any ideas for what we should call this, then let me know. All right. And can we, can we level you up yet? No. You're so cute. You just need the tiniest bit of food. And what else can we complete in terms of missions? We want to level up the Taurosaurus to level five, add five decorations to create an air of celebration, place two pink flower patches, place three small marshes, sell five decorations. Oh my goodness. So everybody, everybody's kind of in a, in a foof right now. So let's go ahead and we'll start with zipping back. Where's the marsh that he wants us to place? See, these kinds of fossils would be really cool to put around the volcano perhaps. So she wants pink flower patches, right? I'm going to double check that because those, those suckers are kind of expensive. Do you like pink flowers, sweetie? Yep, she likes pink flowers. Okay. Well, she does so much to help the park. I'm not going not gonna to deny the kidlet some pink flowers. And they're actually pretty high in terms of what they do. So let's go ahead. Can I not put it there? Not enough room? There's enough room right here. Okay. I think we could probably do a little bit more finagling, actually because there's a huge reach on this crater. See, yeah, there's a huge reach on the crater, so we can probably scoot it over here just fine. There we go. Yep, that's what I thought. Put a flower patch right there. And another flower patch. Let's see, down here, do you want a flower patch? Where would, uh, oh, over with the, the carnivores, actually. They're sadly neglected at the moment. So, yeah, look at that. That helps everybody out. There we go. A little bit of a boost there. The landscaping videos are always the most popular on my original site. She is just such a budding little, like, excitable, cool kidlet. I like her. Alright, she wants us to move the dinos. I like where they are, though, sweetie, for now. So, but there. Okay, move the dinos for her. And, let's see. What was it? Creeks? All right, he's happy because we're almost to five decorations. Three small marshes. Okay, so marshes, marshes. Tar pit with fossil would be so awesome. Fountain, creek, cavern, marsh. Why is that three of them? You, you pricey, pricey, pricey man. Well, where am I going to put these then? Um, right here would be kind of cool, to be honest. Put a little marsh right there, but I don't think it would fit. Again, to be honest, uh, okay, so let's do this. Let's move the security tower over here, and then I think we can put the marsh. Can me a little marsh? Yeah, look at that! We can put a little marsh back here. So it can be kind of like boggy bog land back there. I like it! Spending all our money on marshes out of the blue. But that's what we have to do. Alright, what about over here? And put a marsh over here. Oh, wow. There we go. That covers a nice chunk of land. I just have to move there. So, random marsh there. The, park's looks, looks <laughs> the park looks livelier than ever, but I don't think I found the key yet. You know what? You gotta admire the ambition in a man like Hammond. I thought I... Oh, a coaster! He wants us to get a coaster. Well, you're gonna have to wait. I'm, I'm ordering marshes at the moment being dug. Alright. How about this? For now, we'll have a marsh back here. There we go. All right, that should have improved that. And then the, he's going to want us to sell some decorations, our other dude. So I'm just going to sell, like, these ones. One. Sorry, guys. Two. Um, or some other cheap ones. Three. Uh, four. Five. Are you happy? There, he's happy. 
Now I have to buy those back. <laughs> Expand the park, activate the meat harbor, activate the crops harbor. Got it. And now it's just leveling up. And I think move to buildings. All right, I think we'll look at trying to get the coaster because he really wants to get the coaster. I know what we need. We need something dinosaur sized. That isn't a dinosaur. Brilliant. So we'll get the coaster and try to expand the park. Probably not enough room. We'll move to buildings. Ta-da, move to building. And let's add those roads for her because she gets so happy when we put down little roads. There we go. Little road right there. And... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you can't really get in here anymore. Um, okay, so that road. I'm going to scoot this over here. And we can do a little road back here. So people can see what's going on at the crater. There we go. Nice little tour road right there. Ta-da! Mission's complete! I didn't spend a lot of time on the dinosaurs directly, but I wanted to show how dinosaurs affect everything in the park. She's a smart kidlet. I really like her gumption. Dr. Grant is thrilled to discover the Taurosaurus. Maybe that should be the next topic of my or the topic of my next movie. Buy another decoration. These people. Okay, that's good there. Let's check how much it's going to cost us in terms of an arm and a leg to get the coaster. Where is the coaster hiding? There's the lava rift, also really awesome. Volcanic vent, also very awesome. Got the meteor crater. Pretty happy about that. Um, it's going to be under items, or like buildings, actually. All right, where is that coaster? We're going to let people go on a coaster. There it is. All right, not too bad, not too far off. We can't get the coaster right now, but I will definitely keep it in mind. And there we go, you guys. We've done a lot of upgrading work and a lot of, like additions to the park all of a sudden. I'm pretty impressed by everything we've covered. Lots of creeks, lots of like the meteor crater I'm so in love with. And I really, 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 really hope that we are able to get the colossal squid. So uh, I think, have I sent everybody their, their gifts lately? Yep, I sent everybody their gifts. Toss me some gifts, guys. Sometimes it's bucks. We can work together and try to get some colossal squids. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.